Today we are reviewing Zipper 5. What it basically does, it helps you quickly build the page with a drag and drop tool. And let's go to the walkthrough. The app is installed, but before we continue, please like and subscribe. I make it my mission to transfer everything I know about Shopify to my subscribers. So make sure to subscribe. We're going to do a whole bunch of different videos besides just app reviews. But anyway, like and subscribe. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. The app is installed, like I said, and we are on the dashboard. The dashboard looks very nice, but what makes Zipify pages stand apart from other landing page apps for Shopify? Shopify store owners is its integration. You won't need any subdomains to get your landing pages hosted lives or things like that. Instead, Zipify allows you to publish custom styles that looks exactly like your store right into your store. And that's really cool, actually. Here are a few more features that are included with the Zipify pages. A template pages proven from his eight figure e-commerce store replicate sales funnels with ease integrate with Google Analytics and Facebook Pixels, and all pages are hosted on your Shopify store. Okay, anyway, let's create our first sales page and see how it goes. You can click on a new page on the green button, and here a new page is opened up. Here you can choose around 30 templates. You can filter it by type of the page, or you can start from scratch by clicking on this button right here. Frankly, the templates look amazing. There are even a couple with multiple pages. Uh, in case you're out of ideas, I really, really suggest to try some of these. I mean, they have been A-B tested before you, which is a huge plus, especially if you're in a B2C consumer market similar to Ezra's Boom by Sidney Joseph brand that he does. So if you're in that type of market, I mean, you should really just go with these type of templates. We're going to start with a blank page because we're different and we really want to test this out for you. So click on the create a new blank page and a new window pops up. You give the page a name, what's in the name, tags and click on create. We are on the drag and drop editor. I love these drag and drop editor from a user perspective. Um, from a dev perspective, it's a love-hate relationship. But anyway, um, on the left, you can find the available sections. And here you can choose from headers. Headers obviously should be placed at the top of your Zipify page as it includes access to other pages of your Shopify store. Next to the buy boxes. Buy boxes allow you to add products from your Shopify store. You can use this to compare prices between high value and low value products or showcase the best deal when buying in bulk. Um, timers, they allow you to limit your sales period, emphasizing scarcity. The dividers can be used to separate sections or highlight special areas. Plugins provide you with additional features such as adding a comment section or a review section to your page. Videos, images, uh, CTAs or call to actions. This is a fundamental section that allows you to turn visitors into customers. Uh, you can use CTAs to send visitors to check out or access a free download in exchange for their email opt-in. For example, the call to action that I'm making in this video is to like and subscribe to our channel because it makes a huge difference. So that's kind of a call to action. I'm asking you to do one thing throughout this entire video, and that's the CTA. You have to admit it, that's a smooth plug. Anyway, general content provides you with sections to add any relevant information to your products, services, or promotions. Footers can be used to add your copyright terms and conditions, privacy policy, links to your shop, and much more. And then finally, we have the existing block section, which is quite interesting. With this, you can import any of your existing blocks to a new page. That's pretty cool. So as you can see, there's tons of different types of sections. It's quite easy to create your own page. One other cool feature is hiding or showing specific blocks of your page to create a better mobile or tablet page. And you should really focus on mobile first. I mean, I get it. You're building your business behind your desktop, but your shoppers are probably discovering you, especially the sales landing pages on mobile. Anyway, similarly, you can block certain areas of your page to create a clutter-free desktop optimized page. Let's quickly create one page and see how well it all looks when it's live. One of the best Zipify features is that it integrates flawlessly with Facebook, Google Analytics, and your own inventory. 
It has an amazing build-in split testing functionality. And with this feature, you can easily create variations to your pages. And split testing is hugely important. I mean, you hear it all the time, but you've probably never done it. Anyway, once you do the split testing, afterwards, Zipify will automatically split your traffic between both pages to kind of know what each page performance is and you can measure and as you know, what gets measured gets managed. Our page is created in less than half an hour and it's ready. That's pretty damn cool. So let's publish the page by clicking this button right here. On this little window, you can create a meta title and a description. This is for SEO purposes. You know, when you look up something on Google and there is this little title and text on Google, well, this is where you have this little title and text. You can also create your own URL handle. Click on publish again and boom, our page is live. And here is the final version of our sales page. And it doesn't look bad for half an hour work now, does it? As always, some Shopify apps really affect your store speed. And store speed can really kill your conversion rate, especially if you're over $7,000 a month in revenue. That's kind of where we see that store speed starts really affecting your bottom line. And that's why we built testmystorespeed.com, 100% free. Now we're going to test if Zipify has an effect on the store speed. I'm going to make the wild assumption that because of the nature of this app, it's going to have a significant effect, just like all of its competitors. But let's check it out. For this, we're going to use our free tool that you should use as well, uh, developed specifically for Shopify, which is testmystorespeed.com. That way you're going to know exactly how fast or slow your site is loading. Um, we already tested the speed before the app was installed, and we can compare the results in the history section right over here. So the speed didn't change. The number of requests actually are the same. Um, and we can actually conclude that the app wouldn't affect your speed. I do believe that the actual Zipify page, just considering the nature of how it's built, might be significantly slower than if it was hard-coded, the classic way Shopify pages are built. So this is something to keep in mind. Okay, so mobile responsiveness is crucial. You have built your beautify Zipify page, but most of your visitors might come from mobile. So does your page work well on mobile? I got my mobile right here. Let's check it out. So if we go to the page we just built, um, it loads impressively fast and everything looks great on mobile. So that's definitely a plus for Zipify. Great work, guys. All right, let's go to the customer support section. So let's check the customer support because it's kind of important to know someone has your back in case you're stuck. Uh, the customer support is available via live chat and in case you don't want to wait or you want to learn more, you can always check their help center. So let's test how fast we're going to get a response from one of their agents. The message is sent and frankly around two minutes later we got the response. Uh, the problem is solved, the agent is actually really pleasant and all right, I'll continue chatting and we can move on to the uninstall review. Okay, now that we've seen the customer support, some apps need a little bit more work when you uninstall that. Zipify is one of those apps. So I'm gonna walk you through it right now, how you correctly uninstall Zipify to make sure there is no permanent code that stays inside of your team and slows down your team and then does affects your revenue. So let's check that out right now. Okay, let's say that you want to get rid of the app for XYZ reason. This app actually makes a lot of changes to your liquid code. So to remove the code, you'll need to disable the app first. When disabling Zipify pages, it will also remove all the previously injected code from the team store. This means all published pages will remain on your site, but they will lack the needed styles and code. So they will look like badly formatted and they will probably function incorrectly. So you do need to keep this in mind. If you want to completely hide all of the published Zipify pages from your store, you need to unpublish them first from the page section on the navigation panel. In order to disable Zipify pages, you go to settings and choose general. Click the application status switcher onto the off position. Welcome to the facts corner. Let me spit some facts for you. First of all is integration. It's important that this app plays nicely with some of the other apps in the ecosystem. So what other apps does this integrate well with? Well, if you have Klaviyo, Zipify definitely works well together with Klaviyo. It also works great with Yacht Pro Reviews, with Recharge, 
with best currency converter and with Wilio. You know that little thing that gets you super addictive? You want to spin and keep spinning and keep spinning, but you're never winning. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, let's talk about pricing. How much dinero says this is going to cost? Well, first of all, it comes with a 14 day free trial, which is great to kind of see if it's your vibe. But again, be careful when you install apps, you know what it does if you uninstall them afterwards. So 14 day free trial, awesome. After that, what does the pricing look like? There is a basic plan from $67 a month and there is a plus plan for $97 a month. Now, both plans will give you all of this which is already a fair amount of things. But if you choose the pro plan, you have access to these things. And I especially like the split testing, which is something you can't really do on your own. So the split testing adds actually a huge value according to me to it. Now let's look at the competitors. If Zipify isn't really your vibe, who else can you look at? Well, obviously there is the industry leader or definitely up there, which is Shogun. We're going to review those guys soon. Then you have the page fly guys. Then you have gem pages, which we already reviewed. So make sure to check that out. Wait, I'm in mirror. So I don't know if it's here. It's going to come up here somewhere, guys. Then we have layout hub, hyper visual page builder and page studio. Now, if we look at the reviews, Zipify has a 4.8 out of five star review over 352 reviews. So that's pretty impressive. We're going to give you the entire breakdown of all of the reviews right here. And then we're going to overlay right here the one star reviews uh, just for you to see if there's some red flags that apply to your business, what people are saying negatively. But again, as always, we do this in all the videos know that every fantastic app has one star review. So we're going to overlay them right here. Okay. So some people have asked me, Hey, what's your opinion? Can you give a little bit more of your opinion about these apps? Uh, well, I've used Zipify in the past. Personally, what I really love about Zipify is the fact that it's done by Ezra Firestone. Ezra really knows what he's talking about. So the templates that come with it, are really, really good. They've proven templates. Now, what I will say in page builders in general, because you also have Shogun and all the other competitors that I mentioned, gem pages, page builders are really, really useful in my humble opinion to kind of build your sales page quickly, to kind of set it together and start split testing, start sending some ads to it and see if it works. And that's why I think the pro plan is very important. Once you have a winning formula and you have a page that converts, I always advise to actually build that page hard coded into Shopify. It's going to have a better performance. It's overall, it's cleaner. Um, I would really suggest you to do that. So these page builder apps are fantastic. They're almost a must have for you to quickly put a sales page together or any funnel page together and see what works. And once you split to this to it, once you really figured out a sales page that converts really well, I think there is a very high value in stepping off of the app for that specific page and hard coding it. And then you start the funnel again because you do it for another campaign. You need the app again. So these page builder apps actually have a huge amount of value and I would definitely recommend looking into them if you are not already using it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Next week, we're going to review another app as always. In the meantime, make sure to check your store speed performance at testmystorespeed.com. It's made specifically for Shopify. It's 100% free and what gets measured gets managed. My name is Andrew and I see you in the next Shopify app review. Adios.